All right, big dog in hand, 380 yard hole. Just try and keep them down the middle. Spoken with the utmost conviction. Bit left, but that is perfectly good for me. Rather modest. First running play on this hole in a very long time. Hey golfers, Paul is back to show you what epic 18 handicap golf looks like today. With the added pressure of a Stableford competition, I've put a link to the front nine in the top right of the screen so you don't miss anything. He's done pretty well so far, he's got himself to 17 points so he's won over his handicap. Can he come back here, get into the comments, give him a roast, let him know what maybe he could work on to get better. I'm going to be here dissecting some of his shots and the thought processes and see if we can navigate the massive nightmarish hellscape that is Paul's mind. I hope you enjoy. Let's get back to his second shot. 134 front plane. Slightly into the wind. That sounds like a perfect pitching wedge for me. Finally feels like it's an actual good yardage. Slightly uphill. Gotta hit it full. Speak it into existence. Oh, oh god. Stay in bounds, you absolute idiot. Dear me. I think it just stayed in. Absolute horror show of a second, but it's not too bad. It was. Zero green to work with though, so I've got to get it a bit higher for me. Why is he looking at me for help? Oh, it just clipped a tree. Well, I didn't even think the trees were in play there, but that's neither here nor there. Paul did this a few times on the front nine, and he just needs to stop leaving the ball short. He's trying to get so cute with those because he's short-sided. 20 feet past here is so much better than leaving it where he has. Well, another almost a good shot, but I've left myself another delicate chip. Still got to land this on the, the fringe and hopefully not get too much of a skip forwards. Lots of positive energy then. Oh, come on! What a shot! Ah. Oh. I mean, I'll take up and down from there, but I thought it was going to trickle in the side. And I shall eat my words? Five net four. Right, similar to the last hole, straight par four, driver needed. I'm going to aim it up the right hand side and hopefully same as the last hole. Lovely tempo. And exactly what I wanted. Oh! I love golf. So do I! 148 to the flag. Um, it's a stock nine iron, really. Slightly into the wind, but the nine normally goes 150. And the last one I hit carried the green by five yards, so I'm liking this. Come on, two good ones in a row. Never mind. Well, I played it out to the right, thinking it was above my feet and would come round, and I just overcompensated. Another wayward approach shot, but not too far off. If I can always get to this kind of around the green in two, I'm quite confident of making pars and bogeys, which would see me well. That is aside from the numerous times you've left your first chip short and left yourself in real trouble of making double. That being said, I am willing this close. Oh, just chunk it forwards. Oh, Paul. Ugh. Right, this is a straightforward chip, but I feel like I should be within 10 feet already, but let's just try and get it in tapping range. Sit, 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 sit. That released more than I thought it would. Sim up. Clean up for my five net four, hopefully. Much needed. Tried sneaking away. Five's not bad there. Right, I've got about 135 to the flag. Playing into the wind, which probably 
five to ten yards difference, so I've got a wedge. I'm gonna try to get it on the middle of the green. Go in. Go in. Please be a one. I mean, that was close. It's probably about 20 feet away, but after the calls of go in, it's just come up a little bit short into the wind. It spun back a little bit, which I don't normally get, but got a swinger right to left to get into two's club. Sit, sit, sit. Go, go, go. <laughs> Burns the edge. Right, try and tidy up for my par net birdie. And just inside the left edge, I think. And hit it firm enough. Blech. Oh, I'll just do that. Oh, that's disappointing, but still a net par. So suddenly a few holes in, and really, you wouldn't say that Paul's playing that well. He's had a couple of duff chips and three whacks from nowhere, which you wouldn't expect from him. And he's actually made net power on all of the first three holes of the video, so a little bit of clean-up work, and he'd be absolutely laughing. Really is frustrating to watch for me, and I bet it's more frustrating for him. Right, the first of two par fives, um, straight over the marker post, same as I did on 12. For pity's sake, Paul, that's such a long walk over there. It's the middle of a fairway. My thoughts are I am a bit offline. A bit? I've got 316 downhill to the flag, but obviously not playing for that. I hit it 180 back into play, that leaves me a nice 140 shot. Go. I think it's good. It was fading a touch more than I wanted, but that would just mean it was going closer. What? I've got a pitching wedge. I don't think I can reach, but I think it's safer than trying to go under. I've got a lot of branches to get under and carry, so I should be able to get a wedge over. Just short of the green would be fine. It's into the wind. Ow. Leaked it to the right. Get lucky. Behind a massive tree, and I got over a bunker. Ha! <laughs> got him. Not the best spot to be uh, chipping from, but gotta come in low. Talking himself out of it again. But still get on the green. Take my medicine and aim left of that bunker. Not good. Nope, my camera skills were lacking. Right, just got to do a kind of finish off the shot that I've already started there, really. Just chip it down. It's downhill. It's going to run out. I think just land it a couple of feet on the green. It should easily reach. Keep going. Keep going. Not bad. Tricky one. It's downhill, but I think it's actually pretty straight. That was just weak. Ugh, seven. Right, par four, uphill. I think it's stroke index four or five. It's quite difficult. So anything on the fairway is good. Oh god, hit the wall, no. It's almost back to a tee box after hitting the wall. Love it. Oh my word. Just to provide some context, thank God there was a wall there because that's nearly taken out the group behind. And it's hit it so hard that it's ended up off to the left-hand side of the screen there, nearly going backwards. That really does take some doing. Uh, <laughs> don't know what to do. Driver off the deck? I've got to get it over the wall, but under these trees. Um, Do it. 
I'm actually going to hit driver. Yes. It might be a big mistake, but I feel like I can keep it low but high enough to get over. Right. Wish me luck. Exactly as I thought it might go. That is unbelievable. I've got 140 to the flag. Um, playing probably 10, 15 yards uphill, but it's a little bit downwind, so I think I'm going to hit a 9 iron and play like a 145 shot. Should be perfect. Probably be a little bit longer than short. Stay left. Stay left. I think that's actually gone long somehow. With a flyer out of this horrendous fairway. I went just a bit long with this 9 iron again. Uh, got a long putt, breaking right to left. Um, probably two foot of break at least. Get it somewhere close. Go spin lid. Ready? Easy as that. Oh yeah, I, was, I forgot about my tee shot. Well, that's a very unlikely par, let's be honest. I mean, where do you even start with that? That is possibly the greatest par I've ever seen. From a duff drive to drive off the deck in the rough to making a 50 footer for par. Well played, sir. I doff my cap. Well, after that very unlikely par on the last. Uh, I'm a bit wet and cold now, but... Smash one down the right hand side of the fairway. Oh, way right of the next fairway. Jesus. Wow. Second par five of the back nine and exactly the same result. It's gone so far right. And look at where he's actually aiming. That is definitely, I don't want to go left swing. Well, I've got a five hybrid. Get it up early. Hopefully get it to about a 180 to 200 yards. And then I've got a decent shot in. But I am way offline with this tee shot. It's the most offline I've ever seen anyone ever. Oh, no. Oh, dear. It's made a very long hole. Even longer, presumably. And now I've got an even harder shot. Could just pick up. All right, take two. Try the exact same shot. Wait, another top? Oh dear. How have I done that? Honestly, it has to be seen to be believed. That's out of play, so that's dropping four, hitting five. I was in the air for ages. <laughs> now this is normally the hole where you need some mental strength and this is not the strength of Paul's game, shall we say. He's just had an absolute horror show on the last. So we need to reset and go for broke here. This is banging between yardages for me. It's 130 to the flag. Looks like it's right at the back. My wedge goes 140, so I'm hitting my gap wedge and just Basically hope, hope for the middle of the green and take two putts and run off to the 18. Okay, I'm worried. I'll just pull it into the oblivion and say bye to the competition. Goodbye. Right, hitting a provisional, slightly different approach. I'm choking down on a pitch wedge and going for the flag this time. Hopefully my first one's in play. But, but you'll need a machete to extract it. Gone to pieces after a blunderous finish to the 18 holes. Uh, let's try and finish strong. Let's try and hit that fairway. If I hit it well, I can probably get somewhere near the green. Where's that been? I hit it well. What can I ask for?
let's quickly dive into what's just transpired over the last few holes. So Paul was playing perfectly well. He was playing up to his handicap until the last two holes, which have been absolutely diabolical, unfortunately. And that just goes to show how mental toughness makes a huge difference in this game. If you can stick at it and have a clear idea of what you want to do in your mind, you won't go far wrong. Unfortunately, it has a little bit today, but let's hope Paul finishes well after an absolute bomb there. Alright, I've left myself probably 30 yards uphill with a little bank to get up. Oh, that was just woeful. Need to land this probably two feet on the green and it'll release. Well, that was a nice chip. Nice one, Paul. Finishing on a high. And that's that. Thanks for watching.